family is a society's bedrock. Our children are at the center of family life. If we can protect a little girl or boy from certain disease, if we can help more loving couples start families, gene surgery is wholesome development for medicine. But every advance comes with the responsibility. For the last four decades, culture, ethic, regulation have developed entitled with in vitro fertilization technology. As a result, initial worries of eugenics have not transpired. Clinicians have proven responsible steward of medical procedure that have helped fertility challenge the couples with healthy children. We believe society is ready to regulate gene surgery in the same way. Recent surveys in the US and China indicate that at least two countries, the general public also believe gene surgery can be ethically used in the clinical. Uh, both draw a common red line on anything beyond treating serious disease. We agree. I'd like to share with you five ethic principles we believe can guide and restrict therapeutic use of gene surgery early in life. We wrote this in plain language, drawing upon shared value from many societies and religions, in hopes that we encourage more open discussion of ethics outside of scientific meeting. After all, it's not scientists like me, but families affected by genetic diseases whose lives are on the line and who should have the loudest voices and the best expertise on ethics. So the first principle is mercy for families in need. So we believe a gene defect should not take away a children's life and a gene defect should not prevent a loving couple to start their family. And for the second the principle is only for serious disease, never vanity. Let's put it this way. Gene surgery is a serious medical procedure that be only used for treating serious disease. We should not use it for increasing IQ, improving sports performance, or changing skin color. That's not love. That's not the parents' love to protect their children. Respect a children's autonomy. So a gene just a part of a, a children. So after the gene surgery, the children still have the total freedom to define their life. And we should then to write their life story and then to pursue their infinite potential. The number four is genes don't define you. You have the gene, it doesn't mean that you will become a scientist, become a lawyer, become a doctor, or be become someone uh, a star in the sport. We achieve this and uh, accomplish that is because of uh, our hard work, our support for society, and our parents' love. The last one is everyone deserves freedom from genetic disease. Whether you are rich or poor, you deserve the same right to be healthy. And we should do our best to make this tool and technology available to all people, no matter whether they are rich or poor. The cost of treating a child with a genetic disease today can push family towards poverty. I grew up in a small farming family. I pick up leeches in my leg every day in the summer. I will never forget my roots. And I believe this field should recognize a special duty to ensure even modest families can access this kind of medicine to protect their children from genetic disease. If we do this, I believe gene surgery can help giving the most vulnerable families among us a more equal chance and help lessen economic equities. You can read more about our values in the publication in the CRISPR journal or read the translations of these principles on our website. If you would like to suggest other ethics, 
would love to hear from your thoughts. You can reach the whole number once by email.